Hey guys, welcome back. I meant to record this earlier, but here we are, Monday, November 10th. It's snowing outside. Let's make a quick challenge video, shall we? All right, so this is just a continuation of the Lesson 18 video I already started and have already published. And I'm sure some of you have been waiting with some anticipation for this challenges video for Bubble 9. We're going to do all four A, B, C, and D, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to figure out how to get some hidden text to work, I guess. Interesting. So not only can we use the hover pseudo class to draw a user's attention to a hyperlink on our page, but we can also use it to style other elements too. So let's see how we can code our CSS to have a tip appear when we hover over a div element, all right? So to do this, we're gonna go over to the CSS file, and in the instructions it says to uh, add the following properties to the paragraph rule set. Here's the paragraph rule set, let's add these properties. So display, and then we're gonna choose none, from that drop down, semicolon, and then on the next line, we'll change the background color to yellow. Don't forget those semicolons, kids. They're important. And then we're going to add a rule set uh, to style the paragraph child of the div tag. Okay, so your selector should look like div hover. Okay, so let's we'll do that down here where it indicates we should do it. So div colon hover space p space curly braces, and then inside that we add display and use the block uh, and then hover over. Okay, so when we hover over the text, like it asks us to in the display area, hover over this to show the hidden tip, and there's the hidden tip. Ta-da, here I am. All right, that one works. Let's head over to 9B, image emphasis. Oh, I already like this one. We've got Bigfoot, we've got a Leviathan or a Kraken or something, we've got a Phoenix, we've got a Dragon, we've got a, or wait, maybe, yeah, we got a sphinx and a unicorn. So all these mythical uh, or cryptid creatures. Okay, not only can we use the hover pseudo class to draw a user's attention to a hyperlink on our page, but we can also use it to style other elements too. Let's see how we can code our images with the hover pseudo class to bring attention to them. Okay, so in the CSS file, we're gonna add a rule set, so let's head over here to style the images with the hover pseudo class. All right, so wants me to do that up here, we can do that. So images, so IMG hover space, and then make these curly braces, and then let's set a hover rule set. So uh, what does it want us to do? Increase the width of the image, so we're going to go width, or what is the image width right now? 250? So let's go with 300. Uh, width, 300 px. Alright, so that's already working. You can see when we hover over any of the images, it automatically increases in size by 50 pixels. Okay, and then it wants us to set a border color to fuchsia, uh, F, how do you spell that, fuchsia, okay, semicolon, let's see if that's working, mm, yeah, maybe, I don't see that changing, maybe I need to set a uh, border style or something. We'll, we'll look at that momentarily. De and a defined border width to at least 10 pixels. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe that will fix the problem. 10 px. Okay, yeah. Now it's changing to fuchsia. I see that now. It's a little bit uh, like it doesn't pop at you. That color doesn't. It's a little bit muted but that's okay. We get the idea. 
And is there anything else we need to do? It's just asking us to add any other properties that we might come up with. But I think I'm happy with where it is right now. And testing it again, everything works. Let's finish there. That's actually really easy to do. All right, let's reveal a secret. I feel like we kind of did that with A, but let's see if we can figure it out again, I suppose, uh, maybe in a different way this time. Not only can we use the hover pseudo class to draw users' attention to a hyperlink on our page, but we can also use it to style other elements too. Uh, let's see how we can style a div element to change the font and background color to make text appear. Okay, so in the CSS file, so we'll go over to the CSS file. We're going to add a rule set to style the div with the hover pseudo class. So, okay, so div hover space curly braces. And then what does it want us to do from there? Set the color of the text to black. Okay. So color black. Whoop. If I can spell. And then the next thing we're doing is what? We're going to set the background color to yellow. Okay. Uh, and is what is there anything else we need to do? Hover over the divs. What do I hover over? Oh, right here. <laughs> okay. Decrypted message discover the secrets of cryptography. That's cool. All right, let's finish there. And we've just got one more to do, and that is responsive page elements D down here. Oh, we're back to these cards. Okay. I've struggled with these. Let's see how this goes. Back in chapter one, you learned how to create product cards, an image gallery with information about each image underneath. With our hover pseudo class, we can make these cards even more visually appealing and responsive to our users by using two new properties, transform and transition. Okay. The transform property applies 2D or 3D transformation to an element. This property allows you to rotate, scale, and move elements. Okay and there are many value options. The transition property specifies the duration and time for transform property. The syntax of this property looks like transition property duration timing, okay? And we'll also see how to change our mouse cursor when we hover over an image card using CSS to draw attention to them. Let's try this out. So let's go to the CSS file and start with step one here. Where does it want us to put this? Uh, add a rule for the hover pseudo class for the ramen card class. Okay, so let's just, this is confusing. The way they have that laid out, so we'll just do it right here at line 30. Uh, okay, so we need to make a ramen card colon hover and then oh whoops not brackets but semi or curly braces there we go add the transform property with the value of translate y minus 15 px okay so let's see transform and then it wants us to use translate. Is that in here? Yes. And then inside there, minus 15 px. OK, let's add a semicolon to the end of that. Oh, interesting. So when you hover over the card, it shifts to the left. That's neat. OK. Oh, move up. Did I do that wrong? Oh, translate Y. I see what I did wrong. So let's fix that. Capital Y. So then it should move up. And they do. OK. So that's fixed. Glad that was easy. Oh, whoops. Control Z. Control Z is your friendly undo button. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to add the 
transition. Step three there. And for that, we're gonna do, like it says here, transform zero point three s seconds, I'm assuming, ease in out semicolon. Okay, so oh, so that creates like an animation. That's so cool. Okay, I like that. And then step four, add the cursor property. Ooh, we've got lots of options in this, but we want to use pointer. So I'll just type that. Ah, okay, cool. So that changes my cursor from just the little arrow to a hand. That's neat. And then what does it want us to do? As a bonus, we can play around with different transform values. All right, so I'll try one of these. Let's try rotate. So we'll add transform rotate. And let's see what 20 degrees does. 20 deg. Huh? <laughs> That's fun. I like that, uh, but apparently it gets rid of what you're doing up here with the translate Y. So I, maybe it can only do one transform at a time. I do like that though, it's kind of fun. And because there's that transition, transform 0.3 seconds ease in out, that, that sets it up so that it actually has an animation instead of just automatically flipping over there. That's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna finish right there. Uh, short and sweet video, but I know a lot of you need the help, so here is the help, and I'm glad to provide it. Uh, that's the end of this video. And I guess I'll see you for the next one, right? You guys have a nice, snow day if it is a snow day for you if it's not snowing for you i maybe it will eventually right uh enjoy the rest of your day